What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage, and we are back today with a very exciting blog post here in regards to Null finally getting the release update details in terms of his kit and what we can expect, um, especially once we've unlocked him overall from the Battle World. So keep in mind, right now, the Null that we're facing in Battle World is completely different from the playable version, and hence uh, why they finally had an opportunity here to release the details. And man, his kit is actually so insane because of some big counters against the meta, but as well, just some really cool uh, different dynamics that he's going to be bringing in, especially a new battle world, excuse me, a new battlefield effect. So you can see here, um, this is really good. I like this uh, overview right here because it gives you basically a snapshot of what he's going to do, right? Null is a powerhouse who threatens his enemies with a multitude of techniques that skewer enemy teams with his multi-pronged kit. Immune to trauma, stun, slow, Null's speed bar is untouchable, allowing him to set the pace. His passive stops enemies like Apocalypse and Mephisto from becoming empowered, instantly gaining the Unpran. So, just having Null, he's going to be able to counter Mephisto and Apocalypse teams because of the fact that they won't be getting their empowered um, aspect. And that's a lot of value from their kit, right? Usually those are the two big things in, in the characters that, um, you know, they can turn the tide of battle. But if you bring in Null, he can essentially nullify that. So, um, pretty insane to see that because we haven't seen a character like that yet um, being able to shut that down. And it's not really a mechanic either. It's just um, it's a cancellation, right? It just prevents them from being able to activate uh, their true impact. So Null's dominance extends with his darkness mechanic. This is the new uh, battlefield effect. Uh, each ability he performs, he's going to be applying darkness, which stacks indefinitely. And it also can't be resisted. So it doesn't really matter what the resistance checks are going to be. Uh, it's going to apply automatically. Darkness forces an enemy to attack an ally on their turn, and the damage done by that attack increases with each darkness on that enemy. Darkness also reduces the afflicted damage uh, and resistance, prevents them from gaining speed up, and it allows Null to heal on his turn, which increases per enemy with darkness. So, uh, it's, essentially, it's going to allow him to kind of scale upward, um, especially if he can cast a lot more of the darkness around the enemies he's up against. So, it's pretty... Um, uh, uh, magnified, right? It's uh, it's insane to keep, see this mechanic kind of just snowball against enemies that you're. And the longer he lasts in battle, essentially, is <laughs> the more survival he becomes, which is uh, pretty cool to see. Um, especially since we haven't seen a dynamic like this in any other character yet. Um, the battle only gets darker for those foes. His ultimate applies the battle field effect, uh, enveloping darkness when active. Uh, on that enemy turn, they gain plus one darkness, get their immunity flipped, and they also gain slow. So it just goes hand in hand uh, with the darkness status that he's impacting on his enemies. And then as for finally his finishing touch, he's going to be also able to summon a uh, improved and better version of Carnage here. So you can see the first time he's using your match, he can actually summon Carnage and Rage, which is much stronger than the typical summon. It immediately gains safeguard for two turns, defense up. Uh, this enraged Carnage has a modified version of Carnage's kit, which does increase damage. And he also has trauma added into his kit. So all the details are here, guys, on the blog post. But you can see just in terms of raw stats, um, Null is going to be a villain cosmic mystic controller symbiote. And also at a speed of 127. Very, very respectable. Um, especially given that, you know, like I said, um, all those impacts that he's going to be having with a status effect. So again, uh, what's really cool is that darkness mechanic that he's going to be adding um, his battlefield effect also casts more darkness additionally and he starts with both a special and his ultimate at full energy so he's gonna be ready to go there right away but like i said um the first time you use a special he's gonna summon carnage his ultimate is what casts this enveloping darkness which additionally casts more darkness on the enemy um so pretty unreal because each enemy's turn they're gonna be getting darkness and then again they're gonna get attacked um by their fellow respective allies so pretty unreal uh, finally, um, some other things not mentioned in the over in the summary is that um, characters killed by Null can't be revived. On spawn, he's also gaining defense up, and then uh, also on spawn, he's applying darkness right away. So, I mean, uh, pretty unreal. There's a 50% assist chance uh, per villain ally, and he also gives that as well to the symbiotes. Um, he he also has a 10% speed bar uh, increase for symbiote. Uh, symbiotes also gain additional speed and piercing. And again, they, he can't gain trauma, stun, or slow. And he, his speed bar also can't be reduced. And the big thing, enemies can't be empowered, right? So pretty unreal, guys. 
there's also the details here of Carnage and Rage version as well. If you guys want to take a look at that. But yeah, um, last week we were able to earn three shards from difficulty zero. And this week with difficulty three, we're going to earn six shards. So I mean, the timeline to get this character free to play is still going to look like, you know, close to three to four months, depending on where you're kind of going in terms of the, uh, the difficulty settings. But yeah, uh, it's going to be an awesome addition. I just love the fact that he can counter the meta. So he's going to be definitely a staple later on in the end game because um, to completely shut down APOC and Mephisto, uh, especially um, since they can't gain those impacts. And also going forward, future mythic characters that get released um, that do have that empowered setting, he's going to be kind of playing a hand in that. So it's, uh, it's really important to note this character down because he has a very unique kind of mechanic and dynamic. And we definitely want to take advantage of that, especially as an end game uh, player. So let me know what you guys think in comments below. I know it's uh, going to be a few butts away, but it's just exciting to see a very powerful kid come into our hands and we'll have an opportunity uh, to actually unlock him uh, in the coming months here. We stay patient and just keep on staying the course. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.